Warriors! JP Morgan announces their shares in Coinbase. I'm not shocked, and you shouldn't be either. As you look this way at a pandemic, there's a whole nother narrative going on this way. My name is Coach JB. I am the top health and mindset coach in the world. Remember what you believe in your heart, you think in your mind will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. Now, check this out, Warriors. Coinbase, or excuse me, JP Morgan announces they bought shares in Coinbase, which I'm not shocked. What I want to start sharing with you guys is the long-term game. The long-term game is going to be very, very important right now. I'll get into the news, and you're going to want to watch all the way till the end where I'm going to talk about uh, they're saying XRP could go up 23 uh, 2300%. Okay. So we're going to go, that'll be at the end here, but I want to talk to you about something really quickly. So one thing you'll see on my channel is I'm not pump and dump. I'm not, uh, you know, telling you get into certain cryptos. I, you know, I'm a big XRP fan, but I'm not encouraging people to get in and out of things. What I'm teaching you is freedom warriors. And the thing you need to focus on right now is a long term game. Okay, we're starting to see price appreciation. We're going to see some parabolic moves. And if you're just getting into crypto or you're just getting introduced to my channel or cryptocurrency channels, these YouTubers that are selling you that you're going to make thousands or millions of dollars, get rich quick, that's not true, Warriors. What's going to happen is you're going to buy at the top. You're going to come crashing down. So what you should start transitioning your brain to within this current time right now is a long-term game. Here's the positive thing is that we are very, very, very immature in the crypto space. Excuse me. We have a long run ahead of us, and you're going to see some massive price appreciation over the next five to six to 10 years. So, yes, we're going to go through a parabolic move on the back end of this year, and then the long term game starts the boring, methodical game. But that's where people become multimillionaires and billionaires. Okay. So, we're going to be teaching you the long term game. We teach you the long term game in crypto. We're not jumping in and out, we're not trying to get rich quick. We're teaching you a fundamental long-term game in our warrior academy which the links down below okay subconscious mind programming goal setting access to my portfolio exit strategy but a community of people rising up and as i go through my lbo training as i go through my generational wealth building training with my mentors multi-millionaires i'm bringing that information back to the people because it's all about freedom okay so let's dive right into this warrior so jp this is from macroscope on twitter jp morgan large cap growth fund discloses ownership in 60 2,589 shares of Coinbase on June 30th. So let's take a look at the filing with the sec.gov. Okay. So if we click right here, um, you're going to go to the document. Oh, there we go. My computer. There we go. Okay. So if we click right here, you're going to see the JP Morgan trust. We click right here. And if you scroll down, you can actually see it. So Coinbase Global Incorporated class A, you can see all the documents here. That's the beautiful thing about this warriors. Everything is disclosed. We can see everything going on. And so that's why they keep you distracted with the news. As you look this way, you know, JP Morgan, Jamie Dimon said Bitcoin's a fraud, nefarious, you know, only criminals use it in 2017 as they were in cryptocurrency. They have their own blockchain, the JP coin he told you you should be scared shitless of fintech as they are radically moving into fintech he's a smart dude he's a smart innovative dude he's you know i, I don't enjoy him because of his nefarious ways but I, I respect the fact that he's an innovative guy and he's going to lead chase to a championship so if you follow what they're doing you're going to do very very well not what they're saying what they're doing remember warriors as you look this way, they're doing something completely different the other way. So their balance is 62,589 shares and the overall value in U.S. dollars. It looks like, let me do the math here, that's 1,000. So it's about $15 million in shares in Coinbase, which is pretty exciting, right? So nothing too catastrophic or crazy or what would be called? Um, I think it's breaking news. It really is because it really shows where we're heading, Warriors. That's why I really want you're going to hear me transition to the long term game. OK, another thing we're adding to our YouTube channel is Ken Mack, my multi-million dollar mentor is going to be coming on every single Monday starting on September 6th. And we're doing the Coach JV Ken Mack financial education show to teach you to free your dome. So I'm learning from him. And as I'm learning from here, we're going to bring this information to you guys every Monday, starting September 6th. We're also starting a podcast as well. We're going to be bringing on high level guests to break you free from this just over broke system. Okay. So if we move on to just a little bit further, we saw that Intel, this is pretty exciting. Intel, this was on August 16th. Intel discloses stake in major U S crypto exchange, 
Coinbase. So you got JP Morgan. Um, you have Intel, the DCG group, which is Coinbase subsidiary, right? We talked about the DCG group and how deep they are in the crypto space and how unbelievably connected they are. And I showed you the connection from Coinbase uh, board of directors with his is Mark Andreessen. I said it correct, I think. Mark Andreessen, right? He started the Andreessen Horsewitz. I probably said that wrong. Fund the two point. $2 billion crypto fund that Bill Henman, the former SEC director, sits on that uh, committee in helping them through regulation. And JP Morgan buys shares in Coinbase. It's all connected, Warriors. We're just playing the same game that they are, high-level game. And there's never been a time like this for the normal everyday person to get involved in the biggest or, or be able to amass a little amount of wealth to turn it into the biggest shift in generational wealth, which Ken Mack, my mentor, is going to be teaching us the true game on that. So what happened? Leading computer chip manufacturer, Intel Corporation, holds a stake in U.S. Bank's cryptocurrency exchange, Coinbase Global. Pretty exciting stuff. Okay. This is pretty exciting news. So this is CNBC. Now, remember, this is hitting the masses now, the hitting the masses, the predictive programming. Uh, one of the warriors, oh, man, I wish I would have her name, sent me an Instagram post. Uh, and I said, hey, boys, check this out. Check this out. It was uh, She was at a baseball game. And you're starting to see the cryptocurrency banners all over the place. Predictive programming, getting those baby boomers on board. So one in 10 people currently invest in cryptocurrencies. Many foresee trading CNBC survey finds. More people are jumping into crypto cryptocurrencies, many because of how easy it is to become or how in the ease to become the trade, how easy it is to trade the digital assets. More than 10% of those surveyed said they invested in cryptocurrencies, uh, ranking the digital coins fourth after real estate, stock, mutual funds, and bonds. Well, I'm diving deep with my warriors today on the 10 o'clock call, and I'm about to show them stocks, mutual funds, and bonds. Holy shit. We're in a really, really weird time in America wars and globally financially. Um, yeah, I'm going to learn the real estate game from my mentor. I'm not going to play that game until I understand it more. You know, I'm, I'm going into the big level buying corporations. And with the assets from the corporations, we'll be buying large real estate. Right. So anyways, but we're not going to get into that because I'm not going to pretend that I'm educated on real estate, uh, but I will be. Because that's what I do. I learn and I bring it back to the people. All right, so let's move on. This is pretty cool. I want to give them a big shout out. Oh, look at this. What happened here? Let's redo this here. As you notice, I don't edit my videos. So that's the thing to YouTubers. If you're trying to be a YouTuber, you know, don't get caught up in trying to make everything fancy, too fancy, right? Just be you. Okay, so the Daily Huddle. Uh, this was pretty cool. This was, um, it hit uh, the Daily Huddle. This is from a, a, uh, a YouTuber. His name's going to be in here, but. Uh, he's saying 2,300% XRP rally could be just around the corner, according to top crypto analysts. XRP could be, be on the heels of one of the biggest rallies uh, it's ever had, according to the closely followed crypto trader. Okay. In a new strategy session, uh, the synonymous trader known as Credible Crypto says he believes XRP is destined to reach somewhere between $20 and $30 this bull cycle. Jeez, wouldn't that be great? Looking at XRP, uh, abrupt 1000 percent rally in 2017 the trader poised that something similar could happen in the current bull run cycle the biggest gains happened the last 10 percent of the bull market keep in mind that xrp was trading at 22 cents in 2017 and in one month it went up to three dollars and 30 cents it went up 10x in one month something similar could be expected here i think if we break all times highs within the next few months then we're easily going to go to three to five times is very reasonable again in 2017 we went from 10x three to 5x easily ten dollars minimum is where they consider taking profits so that's where my exit plan is set up as well um i have one for the all-time high three seven actually my my first one is set up at seven i think seven dollars seven to ten dollars i'll be taking a certain percentage so i'm dollar cost averaging out of the market at certain percentage points so i don't get caught like everybody else when the exchanges get shut down for example let me give you an example so i have a I think I have 340 on the all time high just to take a little bit, but I'll probably skip that one. I'll go to seven to $10. I'm going to pull a certain percentage of my portfolio of 50% of my portfolio. Okay. And each coin, I dollar cost average out to the top, right? Cause I'll end up getting more profit than somebody that's trying to catch the top. You're never going to catch the top. You're never going to catch the bottom. The best way to make a cryptocurrency go up is to sell it. <laughs> the best way to make it go down 
is to buy it. <laughs> Think of joking, right? So every time you sell your crypto, all of a sudden it goes shooting up. So don't get caught up in the emotion. Set a damn game plan and stick with it. That's what we coach you on and help you through in the Warrior Academy. We have an exit strategy you can fill out um, in the Warrior Academy, an Excel spreadsheet. And it just gives you a conscious awareness plan. It's like, would you go into the Super Bowl without practicing? Would you go into the Super Bowl without a game plan? You would lose, right? So why would you mess with your finances without a game plan, okay? Uh, this is pretty cool. So Ripple cites viral tweet on status of XRP in a legal battle against the SEC. This is kind of cool. An actual tweet um, is going viral and it's being used in the SEC case. So Ripple is citing U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission letter to a retail investor is going um, is ongoing legal battle against the top U.S. regulator. A Twitter by the name of Frank claims that he reached out to the SEC after buying XRP to see whether he purchased a security. In a viral tweet, the user shared a screenshot of the SEC's response, which indicated that as of October 2020, the regular hadn't issued determination on the digital asset status as a security. It says, I have bought XRP in early, this is the tweet uh, from Frank. I have bought XRP early in 2018 and wasn't sure if I bought a security because there's no decision yet. So I asked the SEC and here's the answer to my concerns. Are they lying to me? It says, thank you for your recent email to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. We appreciate the opportunity to reveal additional concerns about XRP cryptocurrency. Please advise the SEC has not issued a determination on whether the cryptocurrency XRP is a security. Whether a cryptocurrency is considered a security will depend on the characteristics and use of the cryptocurrency. As we have suggested, you may want to review Chairman Jay Clayton's statement rewarding or regarding, excuse me, cryptocurrencies in the initial coin offering. So this is actually in the case now, which is pretty interesting. Okay, uh, This is neat. Uh, banks issue systemic warning, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Cardano, and XRP could replace the dollar in just five years as crypto market price adds one trillion. Remember how early we are, Warriors. The crypto market is in between one and two, bouncing back and forth. Do you know how big the market is overall, Warriors? We have such a small piece of the pie right now. And this is Forbes. This is predictive programming. It's hitting the, it's hitting the, the baby boomers. They're seeing all this stuff. The Bitcoin price last night broke 50,000. This is, I um, just want to make sure this article, where's it at? This is August 23rd. The Bitcoin price last night broke over 50,000 per Bitcoin for the first time since May. Meanwhile, double digit gains among other cryptocurrencies, including Ethereum, Binance, Cardano, and Ripple helped the combined crypto market hit 2.1 trillion dollars up from 1.1 trillion in july think about that think about that it went up one trillion warriors you are invested in a brand new asset class that is going to change the world so you're going to really hear me preach a lot a lot about um fundamentals warriors fundamentals in a long-term game right now if you're new to crypto you should be shifting to a long-term game mindset Really looking at about three to four years from now for the next bull run. Getting set up, dollar cost averaging in, picking some fundamental cryptocurrencies that you enjoy, like, know, and trust. Learn how to study your cryptocurrencies. Look at the leadership team. Okay, Look at the marketing. Look at the tokenomics. Once you dive into that, we have on-chain analysis in our courses too in our Warrior Academy if you want to take a look at that. So once you go through your on-chain analysis, really dive deep into the cryptocurrencies. And as CryptoCito said, fall in love with the cryptocurrency and just stick with those. For example, I will always, for me personally, I'll always be dollar cost averaging into Ethereum, ADA, CRO, and VeChain. Every single week, every Friday, I dollar cost average into those cryptocurrencies. I have a broad portfolio of other cryptocurrencies that I'm working and I have a game plan for every single bit of my assets that I hold. Okay, so as I exit the market, I'm buying um, wealth preservation assets like gold, or excuse me, silver. I don't have any gold. Buying silver. Okay, also looking at some uh, uh, high end vehicle wealth preservation. Like a lot of times, you'll see these people with like, real, true multimillionaires and billionaires. They'll buy certain types of cars as wealth preservation, certain type of watches as wealth preservation, not a flex on Instagram to show. They're actually, it's wealth preservation. And then I'm also going into LBO. So I'm going to be doing leverage buyout offers. I'm working with Ken Mac as my mentor tour and you're going to get to have him on the channel every Monday at 9 a.m. going forward at September 6th. We're going to have a podcast as well. So as I learn the game, Warriors, as I learn the generational wealth building game, I'm going to teach you guys. We're going to bring you this information so that you can help your family take advantage of the biggest shift in generational wealth. As they always say, never let a good pandemic go to waste. So why would you, Warriors, 
Why would you let a good pandemic go to waste? I want you to think about that for just a moment. Why would you let a good pandemic go to waste? So don't get caught up in the pump and dumps. Don't get caught up in getting rich quick. Get caught up in understanding how to surround yourself with the right people, how to make good fundamental uh, decisions, and learn some discipline and patience warriors. If I told you if you could be disciplined and patient for five years, but you could be richer than you've ever been before, spiritually, mentally, would you do it? Would you do it? Would you be disciplined for five years to live a life of freedom? That's what I'm here to teach people, Warriors. I'm here to teach people how to free their dumb. I want people to feel free like I do, where I don't have to look at my bank account on Friday to see if I got paid. When I get paid on Friday, I may only reason I look to see how much I'm going to put into the crypto space. I pay myself 10% every single time I get paid for my companies and I invest in assets. Simple, richest man in Babylon. And it's changed my life. I got really disciplined with my finances. I'm just a normal everyday dude like you guys. Yes, we built a million dollar company. It took years to build a million dollar company. Okay, Warriors, but I'm disciplined. I'm not, because I built a million dollar company doesn't mean I'm a millionaire yet. I'm very smart. I pay myself well under six figures and we reinvest back into the company, Warriors. It's very important to understand how to build wealth is taking your money and turning it into money. Very simple. And once you learn the game of money, you'll never need money. Okay. So if you want to join our private warrior Academy, click the link down below. Uh, you can also join our free discord, our free Facebook group and get ready. We got some really cool stuff. I'm going to have the coolest guest uh, next Tuesday. I have an a, um, NFT company coming on that's helping NFL retired NFL players get back in the game. And so you can own the NFT and the player can own the NFT and you can benefit your favorite players by owning the NFT, making money and playing them in the open marketplace uh, like a fantasy league, which is really cool. I just explained it probably completely off, but they're going to come and explain exactly what they're doing. Uh, we're also going to have Ken Mack on our channel. We're also going to be bringing our research team and our technical analysis team uh, weekly onto the channel to introduce you to them so you can like, know, and trust them. Our goal is to be here for you, to be open, to help you guys, and be honest as well. So love you guys. Appreciate you. As we always say, Warriors, rise. Get your shit together. Let's go.